All right, let's dive in. We're taking a deep dive today into the madness. Ooh. The madness. Yeah. This show has everyone talking. Yeah. This is the one with Muncie Daniels. You know, that super outspoken TV pundit. Right, right. The guy ends up framed for murder while he's supposed to be on a quiet writing retreat. Oh, wow. Talk about some serious writer's blog, right? Seriously. What a way to kick off a story. It's genius. You have this Muncie character. Yeah. So sure of himself. So confident in his pursuit of justice. But then, boom, he gets cues, and you can see the cracks starting to show. Exactly. He's all about his words, right? There's tools, his weapons, even. Absolutely. But suddenly, they can't help him. He's vulnerable. Yeah. And while he's scrambling to clear his name, he gets pulled deeper and deeper into this web of conspiracy. Uh huh. Forced to face the very system he always believed in, the justice system right. and its limitations. It's like the show is peeling back the layers of power, you know? It's not just a simple who doing it. Oh, definitely not. <laughs> It's a commentary on how even those who seem to have it all can be manipulated. Yeah, it's like that whole idea of multidimensional real politic, right? Bingo! How power really works. It's complex, it's often hidden, and it's not always what it seems. So how does the madness actually illustrate that concept? Well, take Muncie. He's a media pro. Yeah, he's a player in the political arena. Okay. Knows the game, or at least he thinks he does. Exactly. He gets influence, shaping narratives, the whole nine yards. Uh huh. But in this situation, he's in over his head. He's up against these puppet masters operating in the shadows, people pulling strings he can't even see. Okay, so it's like he's used to fighting in broad daylight, but suddenly he's thrown into a dark forest where every shadow could be a threat. Precisely. And the other characters, they're not just background noise. Right. You've got that cautious FBI agent. Then there's this network of shadowy, wealthy figures. Yeah. Each of them with their own agenda, their own reasons for playing along. Oh, I see it now. It's this constant dance of suspicion, and you never really know who's on whose side. It keeps you guessing. Yeah. Speaking of guessing, <laughs> can we talk about that major twist? You know, where that initial conspiracy, the one that seemed like the whole point of the story, yeah. turns out to be a total red herring. Whoa. Blew my mind. It's a wild one, right? But it's not just there for shock value. Okay. It shows how easily we can get caught up in these stories, these perceived conspiracies. So it's like the show is calling us out on our own obsession with conspiracy theories. Exactly. Like you were saying earlier about the Pizzagate situation, right? Yeah, people get so focused on connecting those dots, they completely miss the bigger picture. Totally. The madness isn't just a show, it's a reflection of us. Our need to find patterns, create stories, even when they might not be there. And it's a cautionary tale too, right? Definitely. About jumping to conclusions, not thinking critically. You got it. So we've got Muncie betrayed, framed, thrown into this world of shadowy figures. He's angry, understandably so. The question is, does he let that anger consume him and seek revenge? That's a tough one. I mean, he's been pushed to his limit. That's the heart of the show, isn't it? The writers could have gone the classic revenge route, but they didn't. So they take a different path. Muncie has to face his demons, decide if he wants to become the very thing he's fighting against. He's at a crossroads. And it's a powerful statement about forgiveness, about choosing integrity over vengeance. It's a struggle for him, though. Yeah, I can imagine. You see that internal conflict play out. He wants revenge, but he's also committed to his principles. That's got to be a tough battle to fight. It is. And that decision to take the high road, yeah. it ultimately leads him to Julia Jane and the real mastermind behind it all. Whoa, Julia Jane. That's where things get really interesting. She's the epitome of that invisible power we talked about, Julia Jane. Yeah, on the surface, she's just the loyal security advisor, always lurking in the background. Right, but underneath. She's the puppet master pulling all the strings in this twisted scheme. You know, when I first saw her, I totally underestimated her. I thought, oh, she's just a sidekick. But man, was I wrong. The show's great at that, right? It's flipping your expectations on their head. For sure. You think you've got it all figured out? Bam. It's like a magic trick. Totally. And that plays into the whole power dynamics thing, doesn't it? Absolutely. Julia Jane is underestimated because she doesn't fit the typical image of a powerful figure. She uses that to her advantage, weaponizes it. It's like she's hiding in plain sight. Exactly. And think about how that connects to the show's take on the media. Okay, yeah. We're so used to seeing power as this flashy thing, money, status, aggression. Right, right. But the madness shows us that real power often lies in controlling the narrative. In shaping how people see the world. Exactly. So she's not just powerful, she's smart. 
knows how to play the game. A master manipulator. Okay, so back to Muncie. Yeah. He's figured out Julia Jane is the one calling the shots. But what's he going to do about it? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? Going up against someone like that, someone so entrenched in the system, that's got to be terrifying. Absolutely. He could just walk away, you know, keep his mouth shut, stay safe. But he doesn't. No, he chooses to fight, to expose her and her whole network, even though he knows it's risky. It takes guts. It's interesting, you know, he, he started out so sure of himself, almost arrogant. Yeah. But we see him broken down, stripped bare. By the time he decides to go after Julia Jane, he's not the same guy. It's a transformation, isn't it? He goes from believing in the system, in his own voice, to having to find a new kind of strength. When the system fails him. Right, a strength that comes from his convictions, from knowing that the truth matters, no matter the cost. And that climax, yeah. when he exposes everything on TV. Yeah. Wow, talk about a gamble. It's a defining moment, not just about revealing the conspiracy, but about taking back his power. Taking back control. He's saying, I won't be silenced, you can't control me. Powerful stuff. But even after that, even after Julia Jane is taken down, there's this lingering sense of unease. Right, it's like he can't quite shake the feeling that it's not really over, that paranoia. Exactly. That's what makes the ending so brilliant. It doesn't tie everything up in a neat little bow. No happy ending. It acknowledges the scars that something like this leaves behind. The psychological toll. The fight for truth and justice, it changes you. You know, we've talked a lot about Muncie, but what about Franco Quinones, mm -hmm. the FBI agent? Oh, Franco. He's a fascinating character. He <laughs> represents that internal struggle of a lawman, right? Yeah, believes in the system, but is also jaded by it. He wants to do his job, but he's surrounded by corruption. It's like he's caught in this web of lies and manipulation. And his story raises some really interesting questions about the limits of the law. Right. Can justice really prevail when the institutions that are supposed to uphold it are compromised? So his struggle kind of mirrors Muncie's, but on a systemic level. Exactly. Muncie confronts the limits of his own power, and Franco confronts the limitations of the legal system itself. It's like the show is asking us, what would you do? Would you bend the rules? operate outside the system. To get to the truth. To achieve some kind of justice. Tough questions. And those questions, they stay with you even after the show ends. They make you think about the systems we rely on, the institutions we trust. And they challenge us to confront the uncomfortable truth that sometimes the pursuit of justice means questioning everything. Even our core beliefs. You know what's really striking about the madness? Yeah. It doesn't try to sugarcoat anything. Yeah. It, it could have just given us a tidy ending, but it leaves you with this feeling, this unsettled feeling. Uh -huh. Even with Julia Jane exposed and Muncie in the clear, there's still that shadow lingering. That's trauma, right? It doesn't just disappear. No, not at all. He went through something truly awful, forced to face the ugliest parts of humanity. Yeah. Of course he's not going to come out of that the same. Because he's always looking over his shoulder, suspicious of everyone. Right, like he can't quite believe the nightmare is truly over. Exactly. So that paranoia, that's the show really digging into the cost of fighting for truth and justice. It's a heavy price. It makes you wonder if you can even come out of something like that whole, he wins, but was it worth it? That's the question, isn't it? There's no easy answer. No. The show doesn't shy away from the complexity of it all. Right. Truth, justice, and the sacrifices they demand. Exactly. And it's not just Muncie dealing with that. Franco, the FBI agent, he's wrestling with those same questions, too. Oh, absolutely. He believes in the law, but he's seen how easily it can be twisted. How the powerful can manipulate it for their own benefit. So both of them, Muncie and Franco, they have to make these tough choices. Right. How far are they willing to go? What are they willing to risk for justice? And those choices, they have real consequences for them and everyone around them. It's like the show is saying, there's no clean victory. When you're fighting power and corruption. Yeah. It's messy, it's complicated. But even with all that, the madness doesn't leave you feeling totally defeated, does it? No, not at all. There's this glimmer of hope that even if the fight never really ends, it's still a fight worth having. It celebrates those who are willing to stand up and speak truth to power. Like Muncie and Franco, even when it's dangerous. It reminds us that even when the odds are stacked against us, our voices still matter. Our actions can make a difference. Absolutely. That's a powerful takeaway, isn't it? It is. So to sum it all up, I think we can agree, the madness is more than just your typical thriller. It's a look at power, justice, and the pursuit of truth. 
and it doesn't shy away from asking the tough questions. It makes you think, it challenges you. And ultimately it inspires you, right? It does, it inspires you to look at the world with a critical eye, to think about the choices you make. To maybe even embrace a little bit of madness yourself. Madness for justice, that is. Exactly. So if you haven't seen it, the madness is definitely worth checking out. It'll take you on one wild ride, but it'll also make you think. And maybe, just maybe, it'll inspire you to stand up for what's right, even when it's hard. Thanks for joining us for this deep dive. Until next time.